Hello, so welcome to this short session in which I'm going to demonstrate a somatic approach to Shalabhasana. So to start with, you just need a blanket, either rolled up or take a flat pillow just for a little bit of support underneath your head. And then have some floor space, you can roll out your yoga mat or roll out a blanket or a towel. And then coming down to the ground, come down into constructive rest position. So semi supine feet are about hip width apart and there's a little bit of space around the armpits. Then can we check in that the forehead and the chin feel about parallel and you might like to take the palms of your hands to the forehead and the chin as you do this. So we're just making sure that the chin isn't sticking out at all. And as you settle can you begin to get a sense of how you're feeling here in this moment? So what's your energy like? And are there any sensations in your body that are calling for your attention? Can you see if you can notice whatever's there without judging it at all? And then can you become to almost trace the shape your body's making against the ground in your mind's eye? So sensing how your body's positioned in space. Which parts of your body meet the ground, make really good contact? And where is there space? So just taking stock of this little inquiry, I'd then like to invite you to make your way into a prone position. So this is where we lie on our front. So I'm going to just reposition for the camera here. And take care to not jolt your head up as you do this. So I'm going to come onto my front here into prone. Taking a moment to settle and using my hands so that they almost become like a little pillow for my head. And I'm going to take my head so that I'm resting on my left hand cheek, so gazing towards my right elbow. And the legs are parted ever so slightly, so making an upside down V shape. And then we've got this nice position with the hands here. And can you start to get a sense of this shape, how your body feels in this shape now? What's that shape like? So on an inhale, can you now just lift the right elbow just a few centimetres off the ground? So inhaling to lift that elbow up, noticing how this engages the shoulder blades. You may be able to feel this activation into the armpits. And then slowly exhaling, raising that right elbow down, taking this nice and slowly and trying to make it feel as smooth as possible. And resting completely there, checking in that we've relaxed all our muscles, so we're not tensing anything. And then doing this one more time, so inhaling to raise this right elbow up off the ground. And then exhaling to come back down. And then taking your head in the opposite direction, so resting your right cheek on your hands. And now let's do the same exploration, but with the left elbow. So inhaling to lift that elbow up off the ground. And we don't need to take it too far, so we're not wanting to strain here. And then exhaling, can we really smoothly, with lots of control, release that? And if you find that you're getting any little shakes in the muscles at all, as long as there's no pain, know that that's all completely okay. So if you find that your muscles are shaking a little, can you see if you can slow down the movement to smooth it out? So just taking that one more time, inhaling to lift the elbow and exhaling to smoothly, slowly take it back down. Making sure to rest all your muscles, so letting go of that contraction, that holding in between. So we're now going to just take our awareness across our body in prone. So taking it to both of the legs and the hips. And as you're lying here in prone, can you get a sense of your lower back? So the curve of your lower back. So 
Now we're going to do something similar, but with the hips here now. So on an inhale, can we raise the left leg just a tiny little bit so the leg comes up off the ground? And then exhaling to take it back down. Inhaling again to lift that left leg up and exhaling to take it back down. So we get a movement that looks like this. And you may feel how your left hip flexes, so the front of your left hip, press down into the ground so they leave a little imprint in the ground each time you lift that leg up. And again, you might notice a few of these wobbly sensations in the muscles and just see if you can smooth that out if you get that there. So now let's do the same, but over um, on the right leg. So inhaling to lift that right leg up, exhaling to release it back down. Remembering to keep that exhale nice and smooth and long and keeping the movement really smooth and long, so smoothing out any little shakes in the muscles. And then relaxing and resting completely. So we're now going to combine those last few movements with the arms and with the legs. So we're going to start by almost imagining this diagonal line across the back of the body. So from the right shoulder down to the left hip. So imagining almost two diagonal lines. Uh, so just going down the back of the body there. So with that, um, can we think about on an inhale, we lift the right elbow up and also the left leg. And then we exhale to really slowly and with control, let them go back down. And as you do this, can you take your awareness to the curve of your lower back? And you may be able to notice how the muscles start to engage. So we're coming into this soft little arch, a soft little back bend, and you may be able to feel how the muscles are contracting, how they're working to do this. So demonstrating here, we inhale to lift up the right elbow and the left leg, and then exhaling slowly and with control, we take this back down. And just one more time, Inhaling to lift up, sensing that engagement in the lower back and exhaling, coming back down with control. And then taking that over to the opposite side. So turning the head over, getting a sense of that diagonal relationship between the left shoulder and the right hip. Inhaling to lift up that left elbow and the right hip, the right leg, and then exhaling to come back down. And just taking one more in your own time and then relaxing everything completely. So taking a little pause here, resting as you need to, maybe you can notice how your belly swells into the ground and then lifts a little out as you breathe in and out. How does your body feel at this point in the practice? So can we do one of those little inventories, just like we did at the start of this session? So how are you? What shape is your body making in space? So we're now going to come into more of a traditional Shalabhasana. So keeping our legs in this upside down V direction and the insteps of the feet lightly pressing down into the ground. And then can we hover the fingertips around the shoulders and hug the elbows in. And getting that sense of those diagonals across our back here. On an inhale, can we lift everything up? Maybe taking a moment to stay here if this feels okay for you. If you have any fatigue at all, you may wish to come straight back down. So no holding if you have fatigue. And then on an exhale, bringing everything back down with control. And just taking one more, so inhaling to come up, sensing how that lower back, how those muscles are switching on, feeling nice and strong there. And then exhaling to come back down. And can we take care here again 
just to make sure that we relax everything so we're not tensing in between movements. So we're now going to do a little roll and come over back into constructive rest position. So to do this I'm going to extend my left arm and also my left leg here so keeping it extended and I'm going to check in that I'm not tensing along this left arm and leg. So can I keep it feeling really relaxed? I'm then going to press my right toes down into the ground and take my right fingers just by my shoulder there. And I'm going to just point my right knee ever so slightly in the direction of travel that I want to go. And I'm going to roll over onto my left hand side to come onto my back. So then on an inhale, we can use the fingertips and the tips of the toes to glide us over and come back into constructive rest. And can you notice how your body feels against the ground here? So noticing that shape your body's making in space, where the key areas of support are, and also how you feel what your energy levels are like. So we're now going to come into a bridge pose. So Setu Bandha Sarvangasana in Sanskrit. And for this, we're going to take a moment just to press into the Padabandha points, so the tripod points on the feet. So taking a moment to press into the mound underneath the big toe, underneath the little toe, and then at the back side of the heel. So as you do this, you may feel your toes spread a little and you could play around with seeing if your second toe can face forward. And don't worry if this doesn't connect too much straight away, it can feel a little bit strange when we start uh, directing our toes in this way. But just explore, see what connects and what doesn't connect for you. And then we want to keep the knees in this nice position. So everything feels about hip width apart. And then pressing down into these padabanda points, checking in, noticing how the spine feels against the ground. And then as we inhale, can we press down through the padabanda points of the feet and send the hips upwards, engaging the glutes as we do. So we're coming up into a bridge pose. And can there be a sense of the muscles hugging around the core, hugging around the spine. So this is our inhale and then exhaling to come back down with control. Relaxing everything once we're back down there. So inhaling to come up and exhaling to come back down. You may wish to move your hands in time with this movement as well. So inhaling, arms come up as well exhaling to come back down. So feeling free to stay in constructive rest, to completely relax here, or if you prefer, take your legs long for Shavasana. And can you take a final moment just to tune in to how your body feels now after this short practice? So almost asking yourself what sort of energies um, your body feels like it has right now, also where the support is from the ground beneath you. And just getting curious about that shape your body's making in space. Does it feel the same or any different to how it did at the start of this short practice? So thank you very much for joining me. This is just a short little taster of a somatic yoga sequence and you can find more in my somatic yoga class.